Okay, Michael Brown from Solar Ray again uh, in Orlando, Florida. And we have another question uh, from Renewable Nation um, from Jeff in South Florida. We got a lot of people in South Florida asking questions because um, there's not a lot of solar in South Florida. There's a, a lot of very difficult building departments down there, and it's, it's a lot of bureaucracy very hard to get through the building departments down there and you know come out with anything that you really want however putting that aside so the question was hi uh, this question is from south florida we have a lennox air conditioning unit that is solar ready and no one knows how to install solar panels to the solar ready air conditioning units any help would be greatly appreciated as um, we'd love to save some money. And the truth is, is the manufacturers that uh, were doing that and probably still doing it, um, the air conditioning manufacturers, were marketing existing solar systems with their equipment saying that it was a solar air conditioner. It's not a solar air conditioner. It's a standard air conditioner. The only difference between that air conditioner and the one next to it that's probably a little bit less expensive because it doesn't say solar ready is that the, uh, the connection point for the solar system is in the switch gear for the air conditioning unit. So it's a combined circuit. The air conditioner is not being run by the solar any more than it is on a straight grid tie system that's just tied to your distribution panel. And then if you're producing more solar energy than you're uh, consuming, then of course you're gonna be consuming the solar energy before you consume the grid energy, regardless of whether it's connected at the air conditioner or not. So um, the, the, the reality is, is, is uh, um, Jeff, you should probably uh, just talk to a solar expert. Uh, come up a little bit further north. You're going to have people just a little bit further north that are going to have a lot more experience in actual installations. Down in South Florida, like I said, it's been very uh, kind of sketchy with the building departments and stuff, and a lot of restrictions have been put on installing solar down there. There's a lot of um, uh, fear in the building departments down there to install uh, anything at all, which is kind of unnecessary because the only thing that's going to cause any problems with the solar system would be catastrophic events, uh, which your roof's not going to survive those type of events either. I would move venture just a little bit further north. You're going to find contractors. Just make sure they've been around for a while. They'll understand. They've seen this before. And then uh, they can install... Um, uh, just a regular solar system because there is no special so uh, th they were installing uh, basically micro inverters and then tying that circuit into where your um, so, uh, air conditioning system was and in fact in doing it that way it was very limited in the amount of solar that you could tie in because of uh, there are other restrictions according to the National Electrical Code that restrict the circuit size for certain things so um, it was actually limiting what you could have done. So you can install just a regular uh, solar system. Uh, it's no different than what they were uh, proposing. In fact, uh, you can probably find more durable, more cost effective, and more economical, higher durability and more reliable uh, equipment than what you were gonna get through them. And the markup that they were doing on those things was horrendous. So that's the truth of it, is your air conditioner was never designed to be run on solar. It just had an extra space for a breaker to tie in the electrical circuit for a solar system. And that's the only additional thing on that. <laughs> it, it was a, a gimmick, okay, so to, 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 to jump on board with the big push in solar energy lately. And that's the real answer there. And uh, like I said, if you can't find somebody that easily uh, understands that uh, in your jurisdiction and locally, um, then just go just a little bit further north. There's plenty of us up here. Doesn't have to be me um, that understand and, and can service you fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yeah.